And welcome back to my tea party. Today we're going to talk about oolong teas, which in my opinion is the top of the top of the health benefits, which include the rooibos. So this one is a traditional Chinese tea, and it's a combination of green tea and black tea, so that brings it up a notch. It has twice the amount of benefits, and it's one of my favorites. And the special thing about it is what they do is they wither the plants first in the sun, and they oxidize them to get all those tea leaves prepared, and then they start twisting and curling them and then packaging them, so it's a pretty neat process when it comes to um, packaging oolong teas. And this particular tea that I have right here is from a, a local tea shop in Mystic, Tiger Lily Tea. And their tea for today is watermelon oolong. I can really smell it from the package, it's very potent. <laughs> now, um, type of benefits for oolong tea include skin and bone health. Um, there's also um, heart health and things to do with inflammation. There's just so many different benefits to it. The only thing that people have to watch out for is because it has a combination of black and green tea, there's a very, very high caffeine content. So it's not good if you have anxiety, if you have, let's say, acid reflux, and especially if you have a lot of coffee, make sure you avoid this because you're going to be off the charts as far as jitteriness goes. So just be careful about that, but other than that, the health benefits outweigh the risk at this point. So let's get down to the ingredients. We've got papaya pieces, plum and safflower petals, and natural flavors, whichever they may be. But um, of course that'll combine together and make that uh, scent and taste of some lovely watermelon. Now when it comes to uh, water temperature, this is considered almost a delicate tea. Even though on the, in the instructions they don't really suggest a temperature per se, I would probably not bring it all the way up to boiling point. If it does boil, let the um, tea kettle get off of the burner and I would probably wait at least 10 minutes, at least until the pot's about warm to the touch because um, it could actually make the tea a bit bitter in this case. So that's just something to keep in mind, and that also includes things with green tea and white tea as well. Just be careful to make sure that your tea does not taste bitter. That would be very sad. Let's take a look at the leaves. It's a nice tight sealed bag, so that's good. Let's get some bits in there too here. Ah, big papaya chunks in there. small spoon. <laughs> Whoops. There, I got a papaya chunk. <laughs> so I could definitely see those bright safflower petals in there. A lot of the oolong you see, it's all coiled up and bunched up there. Already could just smell watermelon. I know that's a bits of the papaya and probably some of the other flavors they mixed in with, but it's very potent, but it's like a nice sweet watermelon. Not sugary sweet, which I, I can't stand, like the really, really sweet artificial watermelon. You don't really get too much of this here. It smells more natural in that case. So let's go and prepare the tea. Thank you, Fuzzy. Now 
before I get started with the tasting, I like to talk about more about the shop and what is this? What is this? This is different. So, Tiger Lily Tea is, like I said, a local tea shop that's in um, the Mystic Village in Connecticut. And they uh, import their teas from China, they actually visit China and bring back the teas that are hand-picked and also several different goods and devices such as this glass infuser. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, you go to Tea Bonnie, you see the different kind of tea makers as well as, excuse my words, they're not loud. <laughs> as well as other kinds of steeping devices all over the place. But this one in particular is very cool looking. First you got, you got the, the lid of course to help steep. And you got the little handle so you don't burn yourself on the glass. And you can actually put the loose tea in here. It's got um, some slits on the side so that they can filter out the tea without getting too much debris in there from the leaves. And what you do, once in a while, you can gently push this down, bring it back up. Maybe it will get some more flavor out of the teas there a bit. I see that swirling around. It's good stuff. And carefully. Take this out when you're done and you are ready. Put it right back in here so it's a perfect way to do multiple infusions if you want. And there's a little beaker end where you can pour, which I'm not going to do right now because it's already set and I actually need more practice because I have a hard time pouring out this little spout. And when you're done you can always pop this back in, put the lid on, put this aside. So there's multiple uses for this, it's really cool. And then this is a double wall glass cup, so that when you pick it up, you can tell it's not burning my hand off. This is very good, and I bought a set of four because I want to share with friends. This is a very convenient way to share tea when you, you know, have it nearby for everyone. Alright, so it also helps to kind of look at the color of the tea too, you can see right through it. It's a nice golden color, very light though. And scent. Get a very subtle hint of that watermelon. It's a bit tangy, a slightly sweet, but not sickeningly sugary sweet, which is a plus for me. Let's see. Now let this steep for about two minutes, and you could just taste watermelon. I don't really taste much of the papaya. I haven't really had much papaya myself, but I know when I have, it's like very strong tasting. Whew. Very tangy, but this one doesn't have too much tang. I think if you let it sit a bit more, you'll get more of that coming through. Already... Yeah, very sweet too. Has a nice sweet finish. And it's not a full body tea, it's a very light tasting tea. So this is a good casual one you can have pretty much any time. Maybe except for nighttime with the high caffeine content, but it tastes very refreshing. So, I give this tea, this is very good. I give this one, on the cookie scale, 5 out of 5 frosted cookies. So, I'll at least till next time. <laughs>